families living in 64 illegal structures in Mitchell's Plain are facing eviction today. The city of Cape Town is planning to build a cemetery on that land, and the Western Cape High Court has granted the city an interim interdict to prevent any others from occupying that area. Newsroom Africa's Yazid Kamaldin is there and joins us now. New, uh, good morning again, uh, Yazid. Um, so the families there are quite concerned. They're not sure what's going to happen next. Just share with us some of the stories that you've been hearing. Hi, Iman. So I've driven, which feels to almost like the outskirts of Mitchell's Plain, and it's a, a field which the city of Cape Town wants to turn into a cemetery. It's quite a big piece of land, and on this piece of land, for the last couple of years, families have sought a home here, and some of them have built shacks, of course. Um, they have nowhere else to go, essentially. M many of them were what we refer to as backyard dwellers. They were paying sort of rent a few hundred rand a month to live in a Wendy house or a, a structure in someone's backyard in Mitchell's Plain. And I'm now going to be talking to one of the families or one of the women who lives here. She and her family lives here. There are apparently 64 structures that the city um, has counted along with the residents. And the intention from the city of Cape Town is that they want no further structures to be built on here. And ultimately, it seems that the people who live here will be evicted because this land has been earmarked to be used as a cemetery. I'm now going to be joined by one of the residents. Hi, what is your name? My name is Mercer Paulson. Mercer, how long have you lived here and what brought you to this piece of land? Uh, I've lived here since uh, 2021. And my father's people was, uh, uh, put me out and I asked for Kasifa for a place. And Kasifa said for me, put on your place here and, and she helped me. And she paid, and the law enforcement came the next morning and put and take all, all my instructions. And she runs, and she said for me, put the others away and everything. She helped me, and then and she paid for Lori 20 rand to be help me to pull this thing. And the next morning, the law enforcement came, and I see there is my instruction standing with my bed, my everything in. And she said for me, Mercer, Put the, uh, your cupboard in, Mercer, put this in and put that in. And she helped me with, and since that time, with Kasifa helped me, I was staying here since now. And how many people are living in the shack with you? Is, is, uh, I and my three uh, kids. One is um, six years old, and my daughter is ten years old, and my other daughter, my old the young older daughter is uh, 18 years old, and she has a baby from two months. Now, the city of Cape Town is saying they want to build a cemetery on this piece of land, which means that you will have to move. Do you have any other place to go? I, I haven't got another place to go, but where, my, where must we go? Because why? if they build a cemetery here, and there's a lot of people with the, the, the only families, they are stay, staying here, for they must pay a rent, they must pay water and light. And what is open? Open is now. You, you pay dead people and you don't have food for your kids. And what will happen to your kids and you? Are you concerned about your kids? Do you know where you can stay? I'm very concerned about my kids because well, where must I go, go to stay? Where? I haven't got a place to stay. And, and, and family is, is not um, always are not right because why we are staying there mostly for two months and after two months they will put you out and the uh, the faces that they face us whatever it is and, and then where must where will we we go for 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 a place and I'm staying here since three years uh, going in for four years now the twelfth of June June is is four years. Now, I've been inside your shack, and it seems that you do everything in a small space. You cook your food there, you've got three children living with you, and a grandchild. It's a very small shack. Uh, you said there's no real privacy in there for you. Uh, yes, there's nothing. Because why? we sleep there. We make food here. 
we sit it we pee here and every time the place stinks well, um, many times the place stinks like pus <laughs> huh? you must cut there and, and everything okay. is not the right mm-hmm. My, I just also want to understand so are you unemployed? yes I, I'm employed mm-hmm. I work now and then if yeah. uh, pick and pay wants me then, then I go and then what I haven't got a place to stay in money to pay for, 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 for a big yard. Understand? Where must I go? Mm-hmm. The government must give me a place, yo. I want a place. I'm 10 years on the waiting list. Um, there's people. It's 20 years old. They have a house. And what about us? They forgot about us. They didn't see us here. Let's... Yeah, let's look at, so this is your structure, this yeah. is your shack over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Moshe, thank you so much for your time, and we do apologize to our viewers for the language. Um, but Moshe, I understand that you are feeling angry, so thank you for your time. Thank you. And come back with a, a back seat with, by me. Thank you. Well, that was Mersha Paul, so she's one of the persons staying here on a piece of land which the city of Cape Town wants to use for a cemetery. The city is saying that they are illegally occupying the land, but the residents here say they have nowhere else to go. Yes, it uncertain days ahead for the community there, and uh, as Yazid shared with us in those pictures, you know, living... Uh, in really impoverished uh, conditions. Mersha sharing with us as well that she's been 10 years on a housing waiting list. We'll try and find out more as well about the fate of people who have been waiting on those kinds of lists for extended periods of time. But uh, tonight, uh, the security and safety of her and her family also in doubt, not sure what's going to happen in the future. And a number of families are echoing those sentiments as well. Well, again, keep you close to the story.